Happy Labor Day weekend. I'm in Newport, Rhode Island. Took the last flight out of San Francisco yesterday to Boston. So that means that my diet here over the next couple days while the 49ers are off will consist of chowder and lobster rolls. Anyway, 49ers update for you. Not much of one. We've got a lot of rehashed news out there. The report that Nick Bosa and the 49ers are $4 million annually apart in contract negotiations. That's something that we already talked about like way back in, in April. It's obvious that the baseline price for Nick Bosa would be the top of the edge rusher market. TJ Watt, who the 49ers are going to see in Pittsburgh at $28 million per year. And it's obvious that the, the ceiling that Bosa would be shooting for would be Aaron Donald money, the highest paid non-QB of all time, $31.6 million per year. 49ers and Bosa have to find a way to bridge the gap. That is not breaking news. We're at the point of this where it's just getting tiring. Same stuff repeated over and over and over again. But uh, this is new. This, I mean, it's, it's awesome out here. Perfect time of the year to come out to New England. Weather in the 70s. It's always really green out here, right? The water, though, it, it looks a little cold. Maybe, maybe I do try to swim. I think there's a little bit too much boat traffic here. And you've got lighthouses everywhere. But most of all, you've got the best lobster rolls in the world. And between Boston, between here, between Maine, New Hampshire, we'll be in all those spots. This is kind of a return to my old stomping grounds. After college, I came out to Boston for, for a little while. Um, it really is cool. Talk a little bit about the Steelers. I, I mentioned TJ Watt. The 49ers will obviously see him. Uh, the offensive side of the ball seems to have improved for the Steelers, at least if we're uh, to judge uh, based off of the preseason, right? There was five straight drives for touchdowns by Kenny Pickett, who is, a, is an athletic quarterback. And yesterday I wrote an article about this in Athletic. The 49ers weren't prepared for, for zone read in their final preseason game against the Chargers. Kenny Pickett was, uh, Kenny Pickett will be able to run zone read and he'll be able to test the 49ers readiness schematically against it. The defensive coordinator, Steve Wilkes, put blame on himself. He said that the 49ers didn't install any anti-zone read packages before playing the Chargers because it was the preseason. So it's nothing to freak out about. But he said that he expects opponents to try to test that fracture point against the 49ers. And Kenny Pickett, definitely athletic enough to give the 49ers some trouble in zone read. And then you say Najee Harris, you know, the running back out of Antioch, East Bay guy. Jim Harbaugh went to recruit him. I ran into Jim Harbaugh at Antioch High School back when Najee Harris was a senior there before he went to Alabama. Uh, he, he's a back that's versatile that could give the 49ers some trouble. And then you've obviously got three wideouts who can do some damage. Uh, Deontay Johnson being one of them. George Pickens being another one of them. Allen Robinson now with Pittsburgh. So 49ers are going to be tested by the Steelers. That's in a little bit over a week. I do think that Pittsburgh's offensive line might be an issue, especially the tackle spots. They're not very great at tackle. That could be something that the 49ers expose. And you know what would make it a lot more easy to expose Pittsburgh's offensive line? If Nick Bosa were healthy. That's key for the 49ers, very obviously. Other side of the football, Pittsburgh always seems to play decent defense under Mike Tallman, but if the 49ers are healthy offensively, they've got too many eligibles to cover, right? That was the case last year. They're healthy. I don't know if there's an NFL team slowing the 49ers down. Christian McCaffrey going to be on his way to a big season. So I'll have more for you here from New England. Some more good food, some more lobster rolls, some more chowder. We'll talk to you very soon.